Sagittarius placements. What's up? Sagittarius. My incense keeps on turning off. And I keep on turning on. I guess it's because it's towards the end. But anyway, Sagittarius, let's uh let's clean the deck before it turns off again. And the other one. So, Sagittarius, how do you do? Sagittarius placements, Sagittarius placements. Hmm. Sagittarius. <clears throat> Why am I not surprised? I feel like this is a continuous to the energy that is uh, mostly what I see on my channel. So when you comment, I do read all your comments because I approve them all. Well, not all, but you know what I mean. So I see every comment, even if I don't reply to it. And so I feel this is a continuous energy to the people that are um, connecting to me or drawn to me. We have the Eight of Cups, okay? This is all about leaving something that you thought will be important in your life behind. Yeah, look at that, look at that. The Queen of Swords cutting that thing that you thought was important to you behind. And um, from the comments, from what I see, is that a lot of people are setting strong boundaries even though you have feelings for that person or even though you have feelings in the situation attached to the situation i see that you are really uh, being strict even with yourself i want to say like it's not just strict with others you're being strict with yourself because you want something that's worthwhile so maybe this is about your love life most of you that um explain things to me and your situation in the comment section you do mention that this is about your love life that this is you left someone you know they did you wrong um you you're setting boundaries that's it you've had enough and i see that here as well i see it continuing <laughs> yeah yeah see there is like i feel like you are finding the connection between there is a way people treat you and there is a way you treat yourself. So you have a responsibility towards yourself. Now, people can mistreat you all they want, but it's you that allows it or not. It's you that allows access to it or not in your life. So I see that you're understanding that or you're having stronger boundaries, I want to say. Um, because it shows. It shows here... It shows in the comment section. It's showing, okay? You're very outspoken about it. And I can see it in the cards, in the energy, in the comments. So, yeah. Um, I get it. I get it. Okay, so what do you want to say to Sagittarius about this? <sighs> hmm. Why is the Six of Wands in reverse? There is something about do not care what people say as long as you are happy. I don't know why or what this is trying to say. If they're... Okay, so this is a Sagittarius that slightly cares about what others say. So you could be... Um, 
like saying something, I don't know, to your friends, family, to whatever. And then you go back on that word. But then you stop yourself from doing that by saying, oh, well, I have to keep my word. Night. Oh, well, I have to keep my word. But this is telling you, you know what, even if you've said something that, um, you know, in the moment you said to your friend, family members, in, at the end of the day, do what makes you happy. It doesn't matter if you've promised not to do that or talk to that person or get in touch with them. It's as long as you are happy. As long as you are happy, fuck others, fuck what they say. Fuck them thinking that you have gone back on your word. Doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, it's not their life. It's your life, okay? So yeah, there is something about you going back on your word that you're worried that could affect your connections, relationships, friendships, um, whatever it is, connections. You're afraid that it could hinder that or it could ruin that. It's, it's telling you to not give a fuck, basically, because it's your life. If you change your mind, it's also allowed. If you uh, want to do something different than what you said, you are allowed. It's your life. You can change your mind. It's not concrete. It's not concrete. As long as you are following your happiness, as long as you feel like, okay, there is my happiness, but I said something that others, that uh, I care about might find not matching. Fuck that. Just go do that thing that you're happy about doing or that you think that will make you happy. It's your life. Live it, okay? So there is that, okay? Okay. So far, I don't know what this is trying to say, but validate you. Okay, because I get a lot of validation energy here. Like, it, like uh, the universe wants me to reassure you that you're not doing bad. You're not doing um, something outrageous. You're just being human. You're living your life. And it's okay to go back on your word if, you know, it. it's if it has your happiness. I do see here that there is someone, I'm not sure if new or old, I see, hmm, perhaps it's someone that you know, but didn't, like things didn't work between the two of you. Boom. Ah, hair. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> maybe this is like a, a resemblance of the situation that you find yourself in. So it's someone that you know, but things didn't work out. Like I was trying to talk and then there was a hair in my freaking mouth. So such there's, I feel like um, this connection is not going anywhere. You might think that this connection is not going to work. <sighs> Let me see. Let me pull more cards because, yeah, yeah, someone had, you know, someone had their guard up. Someone didn't let the other person in. And I say someone because I don't know if it's you or them. You, you two are mirroring each other because you have the lover's energy. The lover's energy is mirrored energy, okay? So... <clears throat> I see someone here had their guard up and it kind of didn't allow the connection to flourish, didn't, didn't allow the connection to go anywhere. But there are feelings. There are feelings here. There are feelings. I, I see that you have feelings for them. I feel like it's mutual. You might be different in a way where your love languages are different, but you still speak the same language. You mean, you see what I mean? But I feel like there is something burdening this connection. 
and I don't know what exactly. Um, what is burdening this connection? <laughs> love? Really? 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 Love. Apparently that's too much for someone. Maybe it's you, maybe it's them, I don't give a fuck. This Ten of Wands keeps on coming out. As if it's a bad thing to have so much love for someone. I feel like, you know, when you have like a strong connection and uh, it kind of scares uh, one person in the connection or both of them in the connection and it, it kind of fucks things up. <laughs> it's it's kind of like this where you two have like strong feelings. At least you have strong feelings for this person. And you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. A little too fast for my liking. A little, a little too soon for my liking. Or, oh, I'm not falling into that trap again. Something like that is here. Like you're analyzing your feelings. You're saying, well, I mean, this is too strong, too quick, too fast. Uh, I better watch how I feel. And it's, it's almost like you're t putting like a cap on it. Like, uh, you know, when you when you drive a car, you, you put a cap on your speed limit. It's kind of like that with you, says Terrace, where you're trying to cap the the amount of love that you feel for this person. And, you know, I'm getting like this is not a um, past person that you've been with, so to speak. It feels as if you... I don't want to say love at first sight because it's not like that. It feels you know this person, but it didn't go anywhere. It didn't take off. It didn't, uh, you know, go to the connection or go to the commitment level. You see what I mean? So it's not someone you've been committed to. It's not someone that you had the chance to commit to. I feel like the, the connection was so strong at the beginning that it scared you off. And maybe they, they did too. We'll look into their energy in a bit. But it feels your energy. It's like, whoa, okay, so here are my feelings. I feel so many things. Let me analyze it. The Queen of uh, Cups analyzes her feelings. Like she's looking at her feelings in front of her, not inside of her, feeling it. In front of her. So she's bringing those feelings out of herself. And she's like, oh, so these that feeling has come from towards this person and that person okay so it's it's analytical okay and i always say when you start to become analytical of your feelings you you stop feeling you stop feeling okay um i know it's hard to differentiate between how to think and how to feel but but you know, the moment you start to think your feelings, I, f I mean, how would you know? <sighs> if you catch yourself analyzing your feelings, just stop. <laughs> That's the simplest way I can put it because it's, it's slightly different from one person to the other. Um, so you have to kind of know yourself in order to know how to stop yourself from analyzing your feelings. Try to feel your feelings without judgment and, and allow the, the outcome or the circumstance show you uh, the result of that feeling. Does that make sense? I hope. Well, if you have any questions, just let me know. I, I always reply to the ones that uh, want extra clarification. So I see that you have strong feelings for this person. What do you want from this connection? Because I see that, I don't know, it feels as if like you don't want this connection because it's too strong for your liking. So mm, maybe this is uh, triggering your uh, commitment issues. Maybe you have commitment issues. Maybe you're thinking, well, this is going too fast, too quick for my liking. So it must be one of those love bombing situations. Uh, it's re There is a very thin line between love bombing and soulmate connection. Yes, indeed, I agree. Okay. Uh, it's hard to differentiate between the two sometimes because um, 
when the lover's energy comes into one's life, it feels as if love bombing. It's so close to love bombing. So the only difference between love bombing and uh, a soulmate connection is actually uh, the outcome. What comes after that? <laughs> you see what I mean? So, you know, when someone loves bo love bombs you, you uh, notice a different after they shift in energy. You know, so sometimes they, you know, become dreamy, they give you everything, they treat you like whatever, king, queen, whatever, okay? And then they stop and then you're like, oh, okay, so this whole time this was love bombing. This is not who they are or who they, you know, felt or how they felt, something like that. But with the soulmate, it's the same. But then the result or the outcome of that, it stays the same or it's it's grad it's um it's stable. It's the same energy consistently. Um but uh let me see what you want, Sagittarius, because it feels like this is scaring you. This is scaring you to some extent. And I don't mean like scared, you're sitting in a corner hiding it's you're you're not showing that it's scaring you you're showing that i don't care i'm leaving maybe this is the same energy that we opened the reading with hmm. Hmm. let me see what you want what you truly want does such serious truly want from this You know, you can, you can, you can lie to me, joke around and put, you know, those funny faces, smiley faces at the end of your sentences. You're not fooling me. You want them. You want this. You want them. Look at that. We have the king and the, uh, the king and the queen of pentacles accompanied with the magician. You want this. You want this. Now, yes, it's... You know what I'm getting, Sagittarius. You could be, um, you could be testing this person without, <laughs> without them knowing. <laughs> you could be like the. You know when there is a chaser and a runner. You're running from this to see if they will chase. Um, what I mean by that, you are testing if they are love bombing you or not. Damn, Sagittarius, die. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I feel like there are cross watchers. Cross watchers, if Sagittarius is pulling away from you, just know that as Sagittarius is doing that to see if you truly all about those feelings or is it just love bombing? Sagittarius, you want this person, but you are, like I said, analytical of the feelings between the two of you or your feelings for them. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to pull away and see if this sticks around. You see what I mean? Like, oh, I want, I want to pull away and, and see if this sticks around, if it shows up again, if it's meant to be. You know, when you don't believe something, you try to let it go. And then if it shows up in it, like in your life again, then you're convinced that the universe is bringing you something that's meant for you. So you're almost like testing. You're testing if this this is if this is truly meant to be in your life, or is it just another game, another uh, mind game, another love bombing game? Well, well, well. Caught you red-handed. I feel like Sagittarius, you want to know for sure before you allow the strong emotions to be credited <laughs> to the person that you have feelings for you see what i mean so you're you're kind of like um okay so before i give you access to this bunch of feelings that i have for you i'm gonna test if you're worth the while i'm gonna test if this is actually worth my while so it's almost like you're parenting yourself you're like, well, um, I do have those feelings, but I'm going, I'm going to let go of them and see if they come back like a boomerang. 
Boom. Is that the is that the thing that goes that you throw away and then comes back? So you're throwing this love away and you're saying, well, I'm going to see if it returns. If it doesn't return, then ha, you know, two, two um, birds, one stone kind of thing. But if it does return, then I know it's a confirmation. It's 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 like uh, it's meant to be. Yeah. Yeah. OK, so let me see how they feel. Let me see how they feel. Let me let me tap into their energy because this person is clearly in yours. You do have the lover's energy. And um let's see, let's see, Sagittarius. Show me this person's feelings. Or let me let me start with show me this person's energy. Three of Pentacles. That's good. Okay, so they, um, like, this is the energy of teamwork. Okay, let me see. Let me explore that. Let me explore that, Sagittarius. Oh. Oh man, this person is waiting on you to make a move. Let me see, let me see. Yeah. You know what, this person is... Uh, uh, mm. This person believes that you will return to them. Meaning that you will contact them, you will make a move towards them. And they're waiting on you. But while they're waiting, they are having... Like they are keeping their options open. So this person is being passive. Uh, if you think that this person will chase you, doesn't look like it, okay? So, yeah, yeah, you see, you see Six of Cups. This is a confirmation that you two have a soulmate connection. This is a soul contract. This is a soulmate. There will be a reconciliation between the two of you, but it's not showing me in the near future. It's not showing me soon. We have a lot of threes here. Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, this could be an indication for the time when you reconcile. Maybe three months, maybe three weeks. Um, but I see that this person is not in chasing mode. They are passive. Passively waiting for you. Passively, uh, pa passively waiting for you to uh, show up. Hmm. They're watching you, stalking you somehow. Um, yeah, this person has their guard up. Remember when we talked about uh, you having your guard up? This person, same thing. Like I said, you two are mirroring each other. You two are mirroring each other. Now I see that there uh, there is confusion when it comes to, when it comes to this person's energy. There is confusion on their part, meaning they could be um, not knowing if they should move towards you or if they should wait on you. But I think mainly they're waiting on you to make a move. That's that's their energy. Yeah, they are burdened by this as much as you are burdened by it. Remember when we uh, when we had a ten of pen, a ten of wands for you? They have the same here. They have the Ten of Wands as well. Yeah, yeah, this is like heavy mirroring energy. And for some of you, this is a twin flame connection. Okay, some of you. Hmm. This person is slowly getting over something. What is it? Could be a past connection that they went through or um or maybe if you do had a fight an argument they're slowly getting over that they miss you they miss you okay they miss you so uh, why is this person not going towards such terrors wow they don't Wow. Yeah. They see that you've moved on. 
or maybe that's what you th that's what they think so it feels uh, remember when we opened your reading i mean it's here it's here let me grab it okay so you at the beginning of the reading this is your energy the eight of cups remember we talked about that and they see you as that they see that you've decided you you're moving on that's it but there is a like there is a part of them that's waiting on you to return so this person is like uh, devastated about you choosing to move away or to leave them behind or to move on because they see you as someone that has moved on that is happy without them we have the sun here this person this person thinks that you um are that you that you've moved on you're happy about moving on and you know that's they think that's that's what you want and there's a small part of them that's thinking well you know like if if you want this you know you'll return hmm hmm i mean yeah i mean Let's see if there will be a reconciliation between the two of you. Because I do see reconciliation card here. But... Uh, you know what? I'm going to see how you will reconcile. Not, uh, not if it will happen. Because it will happen. It's just a matter of time and how. So how will this reconciliation happen? Yeah, I see it clearly. And it makes sense. Okay, it makes sense. We will take that answer to the extended Sagittarius. So the question is how you two will reconcile because it's a matter of how, not when. Because I, even when we talked about the timeline or the time frame, it, it's giving me three, three months, three weeks. Uh, I don't think it's as far as three years. It's not. Um, but I see here that uh, there will be a reconciliation. How? We will talk about that in the extended. Uh, the link will be in the description box. I will see you there.